When we think about the military, certain words come to mind like duty, honor, discipline. But there's a darker side to some militaries. In Pakistan, the military is more than just a force for defense. It plays a huge role in the country's politics and media. The ISPR was set up in 1949 to handle military communications and public relations. Over time, it has taken on more power, shaping how the military is seen in the media and how the public views political issues. By controlling the flow of information, ISPR creates a positive image of the military while pushing back against criticism. This strategy has made it a major force in not just military affairs, but also in the political landscape of Pakistan. Since it was formed in 1947, Pakistan has spent about 34 years under military rule. Even when the military isn't officially in charge, military leaders have still found ways to influence civilian governments from behind the scenes. This has often happened through mixed political setups, which has really affected the country's politics and made it harder for democracy to thrive. The British colonial legacy has had a major impact on Pakistan's military today. British generals led Pakistan's military until 1951 when General Ayub Khan took over. Just seven years later, Ayub Khan became the country's second president after a military coup. This foundation led to the creation of the Inter-Services Intelligence Spy Agency in 1948. It became very powerful in the 1980s when the US fought a war in Afghanistan, using Pakistan to help against the weakening Soviet Union. Right now, Pakistan is close to an economic collapse struggling under tough repayment terms from international lenders. With just $5.2 billion in state reserves and a debt of over $13.5 billion in international monetary fund, the military still received an increase in funding. Top military officials have been found to have made significant financial gains in a short period. Some of their close family members became billionaires within just six years. Over the years, the military's economic interests have become increasingly prominent. This includes military-owned businesses, substantial onshore and offshore land and property holdings, and significant influence over defense contracts. The military's influence in Pakistan goes beyond just politics and the economy. To manage the flow of information, the military uses a mix of traditional and social media censorship. It also employs vaguely defined strict laws to maintain control. These laws effectively criminalize any form of ridicule directed at the army, carrying severe penalties such as long prison sentences and hefty fines. The military's rise to power in Pakistan is connected to its efforts to create a shared belief that politics is fundamentally corrupt, while presenting itself as the only source of integrity, discipline, and nationalism. This strategy has allowed the military to distance itself from the prevailing political culture, which is marked by family connections, factionalism, patronage networks, and above all, corruption, even though corruption exists within the military itself. The public perception of the military is complex. While many view it as a stabilizing force in a turbulent political landscape, there is a growing awareness of the corruption that undermines its credibility. The corruption of the Pakistan military is a complex issue with deep historical roots and profound implications for the country's political, economic, and social landscape.